She said to me, she goes, I don't date actors. I said, why? She goes, you never know when they're acting. <laughs> um, well, we're not on a set. We're, no one yelled action. I'm not getting paid, right? Line! Get ready to laugh. This week, actor-comedian Jeremy Piven takes the stage at Brea Improv. He is there on Friday and Saturday for two shows each night. He's so funny, and he joins us live now in studio to talk about it. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. You don't know when actors are acting. You don't. I'm acting right now that I'm awake <laughs> because I'm at home sleeping. And you're not even getting paid to be here. No, but I'm happy to be here. It's good to see you. <laughs> and good to see you, too. Um, so you're so funny, and you've been on this comedy tour. Yeah. Um, how does it compare with acting? I know you're still acting, too, but yeah. do you have one that you like better? Um, well, you know, getting up there and... and being in the same room with everyone, and no matter what happens, you got to go with it. No two shows are alike. Um, you can talk about anything that's going on in real time, and my God, there's so much going on. It's insanity. You have a lot of material. Well, I mean, I, I just feel like what's happening in the world right now, it's, I mean, it's, it's insanity and it's tragic. And, and I think, to be honest with you, that, that comedy is thriving for many reasons, and one of them is we just desperately need to laugh because um, mm -hmm. people are so confused about what's happening in the world. Yeah, we need an escape, that's for sure. Yeah, with everything absolutely. going on. Um, you also are a play a basketball coach in a new movie, Sweetwater. Yes, yeah, Sweetwater. Um, that will be, it kind of came out, but now Angel Studios is going to release it and, and really put it out there. And, and I play a basketball coach, and um, in the film, Everett Osborne, who plays Nat Sweetwater Clifton, the first African-American to sign with the NBA. He and I play a game of one-on-one. -on -one. He's a professional basketball player. I, as you know, am an elite athlete. Uh -huh. And so it, it wasn't humiliating at all. Oh, wait, yes, it was. Uh, it was anyone who was on set. The reality is I, I prepared for that moment, but there are levels to every game. Well, it can't all be as easy as tap dancing, you know? Coaching uh, basketball, tap dancing, yeah, acting, you, comedy. You're right, I, I decided to try the hardest things on the planet. I, I had to learn how to tap dance for a film that will find the performance that will finally be We're out this year. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Okay. I don't mean to interrupt you, but we have a clip of Sweetwater. Oh, Sweetwater. Let's talk about that, and Let's then we'll go. get back to the other one. All right. Joe Lapchick. Matt Clifton. Some call me Sweetwater. I coach a team called the New York Knickerbockers. Ain't no Negroes playing your league. It's not going to be like that forever. Sweetwater knows this game better than anyone. I will fight for this. I want to fight with you. There's a lot going on here. It's it's not yes. only about sports, but it's about kind of the civil rights movement yes. and the racial component in America. Yeah, I, I, I was so proud to be a part of this. Um, and yeah, people don't know the story that Nat Sweetwater Clifton was the, was the first player to sign with the NBA of color. And, and Coach Joe Lapchick, who I was honored to play, was really instrumental in that and kind of made it his mission to to you know break down those walls and um i'm just really proud of the film everett osborne it's it's his first feature and he did and he plays the lead and and he he's really incredible kevin pollack is great in it um i'm viciously mediocre unfortunately <laughs> but the rest of the film is banging well i'm sure you're more than mediocre and it was all worth the humiliation uh, right? That is the name of my autobiography. <laughs> it was it's, worth the humiliation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about your tap dancing career. You've been working on this other film for 14 years, learning to tap dance, yes. making your neighbors angry. Yes, uh, making, uh, you know, every <laughs> elevator that I stepped in, everyone around me thought that there was something wrong with me, that I had Tourette's or, cause, because I would just, I'm always tap dancing because I knew my moment would come where I had to perform. And so, you know, getting, it was my, I've done over 80 films, but I've never produced. And so this is the first time producing. And so um, it took that long to find the money to do a, a period drama that's an indie film. And my sister adapted the short story that I got out of The New Yorker and she directed it. And um, it'll be out later this year. And as promised, I will bring my tap shoes here and humiliate myself on television. <laughs> Perfect. I'm looking forward to that. And it <laughs> yeah, premieres I bet you in are. Palm Springs, right, in January? It, 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 it premiered, yeah, in Palm Well, actually, at the Rome Film Festival. Oh, okay. But we're just, yeah, it, 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 after 14 years, it just, it, it's, 
I, I just I'm so excited that it's coming out. Well, I can't yeah. wait to see it. Um, all very exciting. You have so much going on. Thank you for taking the time to thank be here with us Thank you for everyone today. for working on Labor Day. <laughs> thank you for working on Labor Day as well. It's my honor to be here. <laughs> and you can find out more information about Jeremy and how to get tickets to his shows by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV. Let's